por favor. Muito agradecido. You copy now? Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is at the end of this concourse. Great. We've set up a checkpoint. <laughs> Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. This what if good. I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone, if you do. Looks like I'm close. Shit! Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security's too tight. <laughs> Watch your back, you're on. Como assim? Trabalho aqui há 15 anos e nunca vi nada como isso. Quem vocês pensam que são? Sugiro abaixar o pão de bola. Olha, aconteceu só isso. A gente não queria que acontecesse. Só aconteceu. Sinto muito. Sente muito? Ela é minha irmã, cara. A porra da minha irmãzinha. Almost there, Dustin. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side?
that point through. You can't let that happen. We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it too. I mean, they say there's something in here that'll help us, but what is it? Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous? Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's the other question. What makes me so special? I guess we'll know once we open the door. Hey, I hope it's not uncomfortable for me to ask, but what happened with Lucy? I don't know. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's fine. I really don't know. I was talking to my dad about it. It's, it's hard to say. I mean, Juno definitely took control, but I think I agreed to it on some level. I think I let her in. No. <laughs> That's not right. It, it wasn't her. Not exactly. It, it was more like a, a program. Does that sound weird? It, it showed me things. What'd you see? That if I didn't stop Lucy, Abstergo would get the apple, and we'd all be dead. I still don't understand why she turned on us. I'm sure she thought she was doing the right thing. I gotta get back to work. You might want to do the same. Come on, son. We got work to do. Oh, I, unbelievable. What's up? Your politicians are constantly referencing the Founding Fathers, and insisting they must have been in support of one thing or another. I have never seen such a blatant disregard for history. That's just typical political propaganda. It's also dishonest and delusional. How can anyone claim to know what these people wanted based off scraps of paper and wishful thinking? They're looking for intent. What these men envisioned for our country and its future. Idealistic and unlikely. I don't think most of your presidents and senators and judges care what the founders thought. 
They just want to know how they can bend old words to achieve modern goals. Who cares if they were deists or theists or wanted a central bank? Why do people need the validation? What should matter is what you, as an individual, believe and why you believe it. What, are we so insecure that we have to find 18th century letters to validate our beliefs? Oh, look, Mum, a dead man agreed with me. Maybe. If you transpose the letters in his shopping list, you can plainly see he was on my side. Jesus, Sean. That's a cynical way to look at it. Doesn't make it less true. I keep trying to understand how men like Washington and Jefferson could dedicate their lives to the pursuit of liberty and equality, yet have no problem owning slaves. It's hypocritical in the extreme, and your history books make only passing mention of the subject, as if, as if it were of little consequence. They had a war to win country's future to secure. How could they deal with all these issues at the same time? Spoken like a true apologist. We hear it today, too, that matters of civil rights and equality must wait. There are conflicts to settle, economies to salvage. What do any of these things matter if the people are not free and equal? All of them. I wish there was a way for us to share what we learn from the Animus with others. Imagine being able to accurately answer questions about the past. Or experience lost civilizations. But how would you cite it? We can't just reveal the machine's existence to the world. Why not? Desmond's right. It would be dangerous. And we still haven't found a way to manage the bleeding effect. Maybe when we're done saving the world, we can look into it. Even if we do manage to stave off the apocalypse, it's not like the Templars are simply going to disappear. I suspect our fight will continue long after this latest battle is finished. Oh, look at the time. What doesn't time fly? Look, I think it's best we get you back in the Animus, hmm? will tell me today. I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know, maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. It just went from one to the next and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. 
I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them, but not for you. Sealed to protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. Sorry, Desmond. A little busy right now. consume us, for we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice, not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for, for us. us. series of electrical impulses, and the body a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though. Were they right to turn away?
Come on, chop chop. We need to find that key, Desmond. It's not going to happen with you out here, is it? 